three in the safety series with Mr. RV Tech, I wanted to cover emergency exit windows. There are a couple misconceptions about them that I'd like to clear up and also show you how to use them and how to prevent them from getting stuck should you ever need to open them. That could be very frustrating in an emergency situation. I really contemplated whether to make this part of the safety series or not, but I do feel safety is extremely important and I have sometimes on inspections run into these windows sticking and I try to put myself in your shoes and think you know if, if my trailer was on fire and I needed to get out of the window from my bedroom because I can't get to the door I want that thing to work right so we take it very seriously and we make sure that they function properly for you I would like for you to know how to use it in case your dealer or the manufacturer did not inform you properly and actually show you so come along let's go check out one of the most basic push out emergency exit windows. I hope you learned something. I hope you go and check yours and make sure that it's functioning properly. Let's go check it out. You need to use them. Uh, if you've had proper orientation at your dealer, they've shown you how to use them and when to use them the proper way. So what I'd like to do today is provide this video to you in the safety series and show you how to properly use one of these emergency exits. In the event you ever did need to use it, you will be prepared. The first step in utilizing this emergency exit is to remove the screen. They are equipped with a red tab. Simply pull the tab and the screen will come out. The next step is to lift the exit handle. You're going to push it forward to unlock it from this tab and up and out. Next, rotate it straight forward and push the window open. Sorry about the trash there. It's uh, trash day tomorrow, so we haven't gotten that out yet. So a lot of people are kind of freaked out about these and think they're going to fall off the side of the RV if they ever try to use them. That is not going to happen. Let me demonstrate. This window is hinged in a fashion so that it will almost go completely backwards up against the side of the trailer so that there's no broken glass on the ground when you jump out to land on. So don't be fearful to exercise these windows and utilize them. They should be opened frequently to make sure that they're not sticking. That is the one thing that happens to these that we as a dealer at RVs Unlimited try to make sure is not going to happen to you. In the event you ever got to this point where you have Open the handle, gotten it straight, pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and the window will not open. Let's take a walk outside and look at what happens in that case. We certainly don't want it to happen if we are in an emergency situation. Here we are on the exterior of that emergency exit window. If we open this up and take a look at the back side of it, you can see this rubber seal right here. And then the aluminum frame, you can see where it was sitting. Well, what happens if these sit up out in the sun is this rubber seal will stick to the aluminum and make it extremely difficult to push this open via this small handle. So one thing that you can do as a consumer uh, while you're exercising these windows to make sure they work properly is you can take a small amount of lubricant such as silicone spray or Vaseline, something of that nature, and rub it on this seal all the way around the window and then you won't have a problem with it sticking. To replace the screen after it's been pulled out, it may not have been an emergency situation. Maybe a child's come by and saw the red ring and said, oh, look at that, and pulled it out, which happens. It does, I've seen it happen. Uh, these are just pressure clips, and they are going to attach to the lip of the aluminum frame in the four corners. So you have two clips in each corner, and we're simply gonna push them in. This can be very frustrating for some folks. I'm sure somebody watching this has tried to do it before and, and given up. I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how to do this without getting frustrated. <laughs> so watch and learn. The best way I've found to do this is to start with your two upper clips and look and place them in the top of the frame first. And then move the screen into position. At this point, you should be good to go. 
And once you get here, you will need to clip all eight of the clips in. And you can hear them, they'll give an audible click once they've been inserted properly. So just press, you're not gonna break them. Make sure you get all clicked in all four corners and you're good to go. All right, so there you have it. I hope that I made it simple for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comments below. I promise to respond to anybody that has any questions for me. If I can answer them, I will. If I don't know them off the top of my head, I will go and find you the right answer, verify it, and I will come back and communicate that to you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Remember, I'm here for you, not me. I don't get paid to do this. I just think it's important that you know how to use your RV and you're safe while doing it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos or I help you out at all. And please share with your friends. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much again. We'll see you in the next part four of the safety series.